Hi, my name is Emily and I work here at PGACO as an online QuickBooks specialist. I am an advanced pro advisor and I hope that this video answers any of your questions or queries you may have. If it doesn't, however, there will be a link at the end of the video taking you to my Find an Accountant page. Here you'll find reviews from some of my current clients and you can get in touch with any questions or queries you may have. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel for any future updates and new videos. Thank you very much. In this video I'm going to show you how to enter director expenses into QuickBooks Online. Director expenses are expenses that you as the director have incurred personally and that are due back to you through the business. This may be cash expenses as well as on a personal credit or debit card. These typically include travelling expenses such as train fare, parking, etc. that vary from business to business. Expenses occur regularly, however it is normal to collate this expenditure to be claimed back on a monthly basis. In this example, I am going to enter all the expenses occurred for one month on one bill dated the end of this month, although it would also be acceptable to enter the transaction as bills separately if you prefer. To do this, click on the plus icon on the top right hand side of the screen and select Bill. Each director that claims expenses should be set up as a new supplier so we can choose the relevant one from the drop down menu. If you do need to set up a new supplier, simply select Add New. In this example, I am the director, so I will enter my name in here. It is not necessary to set up terms for director bills. All we need to do is enter the bill date as the date at the end of the month. In this example, it's for December 2017. A top tip here is to enter a reference into the bill number box here on the right hand side. I am going to use December 17 as my reference, which will allow me to access the bill easily again in the future. Firstly, I incurred an expense for train fare to a meeting, which will go under the expense account to travelling. You can write a brief description if you want to here for your reference. So for this example, train ticket to meeting on the 15th of December. The amount was £20 and you can select the relevant VAT code. I also incurred a, an expense for some stationery that I brought for business use, but I only had my personal card on me, so it was paid on that. This will go to the print, post and stationery account. And here I could put office stationery purchased on the 20th of December. Again, enter the amount and the relevant VAT code. So here you can see the balance due is £50, which is owed back to me as the director. I will save and close this bill. As the month goes on in December, I incurred another expense for some parking, so I need to go back to find this bill. So to easily navigate back to my director expense bill for December, I can simply search the reference that I put in, December 17. This will bring up the bill, and I can add another line on, so here I can enter a new line, again in the travelling account, for some parking costs. You will now see the balance has increased to £60. You can then transfer this amount from the business bank account to the relevant director's personal account to reimburse them. So if I save and close this and navigate to the bank, you will see here that I've transferred from the business account to my personal account the £60 for the bill and it's come up with a one record found. If I match this off in the bank and then go back to my bill, it will state it has been paid and this money has been reimbursed back to me. If you do not reimburse the director for the month the balance is due for, the bill will sit in the supplier account for this director until it is paid back. 